just want to give you some ideas of how I'm doing the the rope work on the ship and you know it's getting to the point where I am making some good progress and it almost looks as if it's getting close to being finished but I have a lot of work to do so what I want to point out is how I went about it and I did look at some books they helped but I just had to jump in and do it when it came to doing the rigging I approached it from the center of the ship starting at the front working my way back however when you do that like I started out with any of the rigging that would be closest to the ship itself and then work my way up so again I'm going center of the ship this way and then from each mast or area the lowest all the way up to the highest that worked very well then the next area is to decide are you going to work from the front to the back or the back to the front I chose to work from the back to the front here on the back of the ship I've gotten all the rigging done I've also done some work on these dead eyes and I figure out how you tie those when you're working with dead eyes there's a very specific way that they go first of all they should be approximately three diameters of whatever dead eye you're working with apart just approximately and then how those are positioned the upper one goes in this pattern with the lone one pointing straight up and the lower one pointing down. To illustrate, you're going to tie a knot in your rope. You're going to go from the inside of this top one and it's going to come out to the outside of this. Let me number these. So this will be number one. Number two will be the outside of this one. Now you're coming out. Now you're going to go behind the top one. Come out here. This will be three. Go back. You'll be on the outside to the same corresponding hole. This will be four. You go back. You'll be behind it. Behind it. Come out of this one. That would be five. Going to go back in on the outside of this one. That's six. It comes back out and goes up on the back side. Now you're going to go to the top. Let me get another piece of uh, illustration. So on this top one, now you've got all the lines. There will be three of them going down. The rest are in the back side. This one that comes up last, you're going to have this tied. It's going to be a rope coming down from the ship. It's got something looped around here. Mine. And this little opening here, you're going to come from the back and you're going to tuck that through this opening. Go around behind, tuck it under itself on the back side. You can't see it. Tuck under itself, and then come back up and it gets wrapped around here. And then, uh, I just glued it and wrapped it. I'm trying to do some um, wrapping it with another piece of cord around that, but so far I'm not happy with the way it looks because of uh, it makes it too bulky. I know that's a little bit confusing. I'll show it to you once on the ship itself, but uh, it's working out pretty well. I've created three different tools that helps in getting the rigging lines uh, in place. I think I mentioned earlier three tools that I've made to assist in doing the belaying pin work. And what I've done is taken dowel rods of different sizes and tried to file them down and then on the very tip there's just a little area to catch and I don't know if you can see it right there each one of these has that 
That one you can see a little better. And then this smallest one, it has the little V-shape on one end and on the other end is a little hook. Those have been lifesavers. So you can see they're different lengths. This one is, you know, full size. And these are smaller. And actually this one I use quite a bit because it'll reach all the way across the, the ship to a belaying pin on the opposite side. And that's really where you have to work from for the most part. Probably one of the most difficult tasks is to get these lines in the proper position wrapping around these belaying pins. So as I understand it, whatever side the line is coming from, the line goes on that side of the belaying pin. You go underneath, back up and around, and then cross the belaying pin, loop it around, and come back and then go back under the other side so it forms an X at the front of that pin. Imagine, if you will, that this is a belaying pin. This is the bottom, this is the top, and the, the uh, rope work that you're working with is coming from that direction. So on the back side, you would go under. Now this is where I normally would use these. So once you get that hooked, see you can push it, you can push it behind and then you're going to pull it through and loop it around the top. And again, you may be using this to assist. And you're going to come around and see the X that forms. And you're going to go behind and then just complete that as many times as you can within reason. Two or three is fine. Some I only had to do, I could only get it done once. Once you form this X, then you can put just a drop of CA glue, super glue, whatever you want to call it. Just a small amount to hold that in place. Then I've just been snipping this extra uh, rope off. Because then you want to make your own extra rope that you would hang down in front of this. And you'll see that on the model ship later. If the the lines would be coming down on the this side then you would do just the opposite so if your rope is coming from the my left then you would go to the left of that around, around. and again forming the X so that's it for this episode of building the black pearl thanks for watching